Okay, welcome to our second video solution. We're going to do our next one with a right hand approximation of rectangles. Same function, f of x equals x squared plus 1, and the integral looks like this. The interval is from 0 to 2 of x squared plus 1 dx. We're going to approximate the right hand rule with four rectangles. Here's the picture of the curve, okay? We need to find our delta x, and you'll see that our delta x is still the same. However, the endpoint that we take first is going to be different. Okay, so our delta x is one half. The first endpoint that we used is, for this example, is the second one we used in the first example. So our first value we use is going to be 0 plus delta x. So it's going to be f of 1 half. Okay, let me draw the picture in. So we're going to have f of 1 half, f of 1, f of 3 halves. There's f of 2. Here's how it differs a little bit. Notice that all these rectangles are above the graph that's going to give us an over approximation. Okay. Alright, so we still have our delta x being one half. But this time I start with f of x sub 1, which is right here. And then I add delta x to each one of these. So what I end up with is f of a half plus add delta x, f of 1, add delta x, f of 3 halves. And then our final is our right hand most point, which is f of 2. f of 1 half is 5 fourths, f of 1 is 2, f of 3 halves is 13 fourths, and the last f of 2 is 5. And this is going to be 20, 33, 41 fourths. Forty-one a square units, and it is bigger than the last one, and it is an over approximation because these rectangles with the right hand are above the curve that we have. Okay, now go to the third video solution, which we will have a midpoint approximation for rectangle same curve.